All right, Sean Wong, Sean Wong. Call Hung Lung Yung Lai. Yahal Ba Shimi Ao Shai. Ba Shen Rakakadash. Double Lung City Yells Me Apostles, a great millstone who taught me is true. And double side taste to tell you, Akim, the man that a prophesying and laid throughout the phone winds of this earth, pushing the truth with our righteousness and sincerity. Sean Wong, two brothers, and to the Aqua. The few sisters that are listening, learning to you, I say Sean Wong. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahal Ba Shimi Ao Shai. But we're into edifying feet and lens and y'all about seeing y'all shot praise and let's be edifying straight to the point, man. Alright, so this lesson is gonna be about you ease, man. Alright, you is like women, you so called Negro, Latino, Native American women, man. Alright, because the times we come into, man, you women are gonna be humble, man, and y'all gonna fall right in order, alright? And that order is, alright, being behind the man, alright, basically. Okay? Going back to the hey, what you supposed to be doing, being submissive. Loving your own husbands, okay? All right, so, hey, all this, you know, this liberty to get abroad, all right, this feminism bullshit, all that's going to come to an end real soon, man. And, hey, as the closer you get closer to the end, man, all right, <laughs> look, feminism is going to be dead, man. It's going to be lying on the ground and <laughs> just basically drooling, all right? All right, so, hey, all you women that said that you don't need a man, you don't need a man to uh take care of you. Do this, do that. You don't need protection from a man. I can do bad all by myself. You that bad bitch and all that. Look, all of that shit's about to come to an end, all right? And, hey, it's and it's fastly coming to an end because, hey, a lot of some of you women now are already freaking out about the things that are going on. You're freaking out about what's going on in the Rus Russia and Ukraine. The price of gas, the price of food is skyrocketing. So, hey, all this... Things about y'all so tough, y'all so independent, all right? Feminism, all of that's about to die out, man, okay? So, let's see where I want to start. Because, hey, that pride is about to be brought down. It's about to be brought down real low, man, okay? And a lot of you Israelite women, especially you so-called Negro women, man, a lot of y'all ass y'all proud, man. Y'all proud and just arrogant. What you got to be proud of, man, that's... That, that, that's the thing. What do y'all got to be so proud of, man? You women are the weaker vessel. As a matter of fact, let's start with that scripture, man. I think I got it in here. No, I actually don't. Well, we're just going to go and get to it, man. Okay, I think it's uh, Second Peter's uh, 1. Let's see. Well, it might be Second Peter's 2. Um... Mm, might be first Peters. Hold on. Bear with me. Alright. First Peters two. Um where is that? Where 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 is that? Uh wow, let me let me type it in. Weak Slocky. Clear. Um uh, vessel. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here it is. It's First Peter's three, Slaki. First Peter's three, and actually, I'm gonna start at verse. I'm starting verse five. First Peter's three, and I'm starting verse five. For after this manner, in the old time, of the holy women also who trusted in Yahweh, adorned themselves, being sub, being a suggestion to their own husbands. So the ancient women. Of the days, man, you so-called Negro, Latin, and Native American women, you were submissive to your own husband, man. That's the order. You're supposed to be subjection in subjection, man, to your own husband, all right? That's the manner you women supposed to be in. But you modern-day women, you don't do that. And as a matter of fact, let's go to Titus. Titus 2 and verse... Yeah, I'm going to start at verse 3. Titus 2 and 3. This is what the woman's supposed to be. Alright? This is what you Hebrew isn't like women's supposed to be, man. Like, okay? Titus 2 and 3. And the aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as be becometh holiness. Not false accusers. Not giving to too much wine. And a lot of you women, man, y'all giving too much wine. Not just the, not just wine itself, but the wines, the philosophies of Babylon, the great America. You uh, Babylonian women, man, especially years like women, you don't follow after the ways of Babylon, man. Learn the ways of heathen. Got your hair 
looking like the heathen, all right? Having uh these tight ass jeans, tight ass clothes on, showing camel toe and your and your damn booze, man. You women's not supposed to be like that, man. Okay? You women's not supposed to be like that. You isn't like women, okay? You supposed to, let's read this again, Titus two and three. The age women likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things, okay? Verse 4, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. That's what you women supposed to be like, man. You're supposed to, so you can teach the younger women to be sober, to love their own husbands, and to love their children, okay? Verse 5, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of Yahweh be not blasphemed. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's go, go to my blue letter Bible, right? <clears throat> I'm going to look up something, all right? Okay, where's Titus? There we go. <clears throat> Actually, let me read this in the NLT right quick before I do that. Titus 2 and 3 in the NLT. Similarity, teach the older women to live in a way that honors Yahweh. See? Okay? So, hey, you women are supposed to live in a way that honors Yahweh by Shimei Shai. But you modern day women don't do that, man. No, you don't do that at all, man. Y'all doing the opposite of what <laughs> honors Yahweh, man. You really ain't honoring Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. They must not slander others or be heavy drunk drinkers. I right, ain't got a lot of women that drink a lot, man. All right? Getting drunk, getting in the loose sex and all of that shit. Jumping from one cock to the other. All right? Riding a cock carousel. And hey, you women, you isn't like women. Hey, y'all about to answer for all the things you've done, man. Okay? Instead, they should teach others what is good. Verse 4. These older women must train the younger women to love their husbands and their children. How you get around that, man? How you get around that? You don't. You can't get around that. Verse 5. Excuse me. To live wisely and be pure. To work in their homes. You see? <coughs> Supposed to be a home, man. Taking care of the home. Taking care of the children. But you modern day women don't want to do that. Half of you modern day women don't know how to cook. You don't know how to clean. All y'all want to do is go to Red Lobster and all these fancy ass restaurants and try to live that good life, man. But that good life is coming to an end. All right. <laughs> to do good and to be submissive to their husbands. Come on, man. Then they will not be a sh be shame on the word. They will not be shame on the word of God. Okay. You're not going to bring shame on the word of God if you do this. But a lot of our women, they do that, man. And as a matter of fact, let's go here. <clears throat> Let it load up first. All right. Mm, let's see. Let's look at this word discreet. All right. Strong's G, 4998. Sofro. Sofro. Sofro for that word, that Greek word. All right. Discreet. It says, of a sound mind. How many modern women you know of a sound mind? Man, these women act like they crazy, man. <laughs> Saying, in one sense, curbing one's desire and impulses, self-controlled, tem temperate. All right? How many women you know of that? <laughs> Not many. All right? All right? You only got a few sisters that are like that, man. And like I say... And like we always say, this is not applying to you few sisters that are listening and learning, man. Okay? It's not to apply to the two-third Israelite women. All right? So we not talking about y'all. All right? If you, hey, if you following the men of the Lord, you doing what you're supposed to be doing, hey, show them to you. And hey, keep doing what you're doing. But we're talking about the two-third women out there, man. And there's a lot. And then, hey, the, the majority of the two-thirds are basically the women. 
Now, you got two-thirds of white men out there, too, but the majority of the two-thirds are basically women because there are more women on the earth than there are men, okay? All right? Let's see. It says, say sound in mind, self-control, all right? So, how many women you know that are self-control? Not many, okay? All right? Let's see, Chase. Look at this word, Chase. All right. Strong's G53, Hognos. Hognos. All right. Exciting reverence, Vulner vulnerable, sacred, pure. All right, you women supposed to be pure. All right, clean. You see? <laughs> Come on, man. A lot of you women ain't that. All right, properly clean, figuratively innocent, modest, woo, perfect. Come on, man, clean, pure. These modern day women ain't that, man. They're the opposite of modest, perfect, innocent, clean. These women are far from innocent, man. All right, they're far from that. <laughs> I can tell you that one thing for sure. All right, let's get back to the scriptures. All right, they are far from that. Let's read First Peter 3 and verse 5, and then read all the way down to 7, okay? For after this manner in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in Yahweh adorned themselves, being in subjection to their own husband, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. Why? Because she understood that the men... Hey, she's supposed to be submissive to her own husband, man. He was Lord, all right? He's the head of the household. The man is the head of the household, not women. Women is not supposed to be head of the household wearing the pants. Man is supposed to be the head of the household, man. That's the order, okay? And that's, I'm going to get that scripture in a minute. Let, let's, read, let's finish reading this. Let's not jump ahead of ourselves. We're going to take our time with this, all right? 1 Peter 3 and 6 again. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well and are not afraid with an amazement. Verse 7. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving them honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. You women are the weaker vessel, man. You're not this strong. You're not this independent. You're not this tough thing that you want to portray yourselves to be you are the weaker vessel point blank period man and we're gonna look that up all right and as being heirs together of the grace of life excuse me that your prayers be not hindered okay let's go back let's go to first peters first peters three all right Alrighty. Mm, let's see. Let's read this in the NLT, man. Verse 7. All right, let's read husbands. It says, In the same way, your husbands must give honor to your wives. Treat your wives with understanding as you live together. She may be weaker than you are, but she is but she is your equal partner, which are not equal, by the way, all right? And Yahweh's gift of new life, treat her as you should, so your prayers will not be hindered, okay? All right, because she is a weaker vessel. We're not equal, all right? Men and women are not equal, man, okay? All right, we're not equal. We're created differently, all right? Let's see. I want to look up weaker. All right. Let's say you say it's weak, weakness, weaker, weak things. All right. More feeble, without strength. And that's you women, man. All right. You women ain't without strength. You're not this tough thing that you want to portray yourselves out and being. All right. Let's look up vessel. All right. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
let's move on. I don't waste no time on that. All right. All right, let's move on. All right. Well, actually, let's get this. All right. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. This is the order right here. All right. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach Yahushai. So the head of us, us men, is Yahushai Hamashiach. And the head of the woman is the man. So we're the head of you, man. Okay? We're over you. Point blank, period. Okay? Like it tells you in uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12, you're not supposed to usurp authority over man. All right? And the head of Hamashiach Yahushai is Yahweh. Okay? So, yeah, so Yahweh is the head of Yahweh Shai, okay? All right? That's the order, man, okay? Well, you, a lot of you women, <laughs> a lot of you women don't believe in order, man, okay? All right? But the times we come into, hey, that's all going to change, okay? Because the times we come into, it's about to change. You women are going to fall right back in order, Okay? You're going to go back being in that order that you're supposed to be in. Okay? This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. And a lot of you women are proud. A lot of you women are arrogant. All right? Haughty. All right? Hey, that is about to change. The times we coming into, man. Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Daniel's 12 and 1. A time that is spoken like no other, man. Okay? Worse than 70 AD. Worse than slavery. Worse than the Jim Crow era. It's going to be... It's going to be chaotic out here, man. Okay? And you women are going to need a man in that day. Not just any man. A man of the Lord. Which is where I'm coming to verse 12. Alright? Verse 12. Isaiah 13, verse 12. And I will make a man more precious than fine gold. They don't say, I'm going to make a woman more precious. No. A woman is not going to be prized in that day. Like a lot of you women say, women are the prize. Man, you women are not the prize, man. The men of the Lord are the prize. We are the prize, man. All right? And you're going to be trying to get with a man of the Lord in that day. Okay? Verse 12. And I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Okay? So, hey. The man's going to be the prize in that day. Not you women, but the men. Okay? Alright? Let's get this. Isaiah 32, and I'm going to start at verse 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness. And who's that king? King Yahushai, man. And princes shall rule in judgment. Alright? Who's the princes? The 144,000 mighty men. Okay, verse 2, and I'll slug it. Verse 2, and a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind, the destruction. Okay, a man of the Lord is going to be a hiding place for you women, man. Protection. Okay, like it says in Isaiah 4 and 1. All right, seven women shall take hold of one man. Seven is just a number of completion. It could be multiple women. Okay, a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. As rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in the, a weary land. All right. Skip down to verse 9, man. All right. Verse 9. I, Isaiah 32 and verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Okay. Verse 10. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vengeance shall fail, the gathering shall not come. A lot of you women are going to be stuck out here when you can't get no more food. All right? When the lights go out, no more water, no more food in the grocery store. You women are going to be up a creek without a paddle, man. Okay? Point blank, period. And hey, in that day, you're going to be looking for a man of the Lord that's got some food that's going to feed you. All right? So, hey. You women are going to be in a terrible case, man. Okay, a lot of you women are going to be getting ravaged out here, getting taken. A lot of you going to be going off to uh, fighting this next world war, World War Three, <laughs> And hey, over there in them, in them foreign lands, man, them heathens, they going to have their way with y'all, man. 
Just like they are going to have their way here in Babylon, man. A lot of these men are going to have their way with you women. Like Elder Malcolm I always say, man, you women have rolled in the cock carousel. Pretty soon that cock carousel is going to ride you. And you're not going to have any picks and chooses in that day about who you, <laughs> who you want. It's going to be men, no matter what size, how big, how small they are. All right? All right? So, hey, you women better get in order, man. And this is a message to years when like women, basically. Okay? Because, hey, the heathen women and the Edomite women, they're just going to get taken anyway. But we're talking to you Israelite women it's to wake you up. This is not to get on you, but this is to wake you up and make you realize, hey, y'all need to make some changes, man, before it's too late. All right? And like we always say, this ain't talking about uh, you feasts and sis sisters that listen and learn. No, it's not talking about you. Because, hey, like you say, like I said earlier, if you're doing what you're told, you listen listening to the man of the Lord. If you got a husband, you listening to him, hey, show on to you, okay? But this is talking about the majority of you Israelite women because, hey, most of you Israelite women are basically two-thirds, man. And most of you Israelite women are done, man. You're finished, you're through. You look through. And in that day, y'all going to look a mess. All Your hair all out, no wig, probably got baldness, eyelashes, no makeup. Stanky, all right, smelling like a human sushi bar. <laughs> hey, you women gonna look a hot mess, man, in that day. <laughs> oh, man. All right. <laughs> all right, let's read on, man. Verse 11. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless one. Strip you and make you bare. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the tease. And for the pleasant fields and for the fruitful vines, man, when they cut off Session 8, the uh, snap benefits and the wick and all this shit you women are used to getting to, getting, Salaki, getting, all right? Hey, it's over, man. <laughs> A lot of you women are going to just go take that Karagma, man, the C-H-I-P, the M-O-T to the B, man. A lot of you women just going to submit it. Hey, two-thirds of years of like women, you take that, you're going to be destroyed. All right, Revelations 14, 9 and 10, waiting on you, just like the Israelite men, two-thirds of you Israelite men, okay? All right? So, hey, better make some changes, all right? Uh, let's see what I want to go next. Let's get this. <clears throat> this is uh second Israel chapter 8 and verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that dwell in the latter times, shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. That's two-thirds of years of white women, man, especially the Judite woman, you so-called Negro women. You Negro women have walked in great pride, all right? All right? So, <laughs> like, I'm going to read this next scripture right here. This is uh, Sirach Ecclesiastes chapter 25, verse 25. Give the water no passes, neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad a lot of you women's been given liberty to get abroad do what you want i can do whatever i want to do i can be just like the man no you can't be like the men okay you have a role men are have just like the man has a role you women have a role and you women are going to go back to being and hey going back to being in that role that you're supposed to be in okay right Let's get this. This is Sirach 26 and verse 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift from the, of the Lord, Yahabashi Yahushai. And there is no understand. Sorry, and there is un... Sorry, let me read that again. I'm sorry. Butchering it. <laughs> Sirach. Over inside it. Sirach 26 and verse 14 again. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, Yahabashi Yahushai. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed, all right? A silent and loving woman, man, is a gift of the glory of Yahweh Shai. You think us men, we like loud women? Me, I don't like loud women, man. I don't like loud, brute, bees women. No, I like a silent and a loving woman, man. That's my type of woman I like. Silent, loving, submissive. Hey, those are the type of women I like. But, yeah. Not in this society. You ain't gonna find that. But in the kingdom, man, 
<laughs> we gonna have a peace of mind. And as a matter of fact, what does it say? Uh, what? How to? Let me let me finish reading this. All right, and then I'm gonna look for that scripture. It says, verse fifteen: A shame face and faithful woman is a double grace, and her counten and her countenance mine, and her countenance mine cannot be valued. Okay, there you go. All right. How does scripture go? He that getteth a wife to get a possession and get into possession. That's how it goes. The yeah, right here. Come on now. Uh oh no. Now I know this thing. Scripture now, come on. I don't know, bear with me. Yeah, here it is. Water y'all about some y'all shy. All right, Sirach 36 and verse 24. He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. Can't get that in this society. A pillow of rest for a woman. Oh, that's what a woman's supposed to be. A help, a helpmate like unto himself, and a pillow of rest. She's supposed to be a pillow of rest, man. Can't get that. Not in this society. And sex is marriage, by the way. Alright? But in the kingdom, we're gonna get that, man. But before the kingdom, we're gonna get that. Alright? Let's read this Isaiah 4 and 1. In that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. It don't say seven men gonna take hold of one woman, all right? It says, in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. And seven is just number of completion. It could be multiple women. Saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, okay? So, hey, you women are gonna be ashamed in that day, all right? And, hey, you're gonna be, be glad to be called by a man's name. To take a man's name. And how you do that? By marriage. And marriage is sex, man. Sex is marriage. Okay? You can read that account in Genesis chapter 24, verse 67. Okay? Alright? Let's go. Got a couple more scriptures now. Alright? But for the rest of you women, man, this is Isaiah 3. Isaiah 3 and verse 16. Moreover, the glory how about she and I said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and missing as they go and making a tingling with their feet, all this jewelry, these high heel shoes, all right, pride, proud as hell, thinking you don't need a man. I don't need no man. I don't need no man to take care of me. I don't take care of myself. Da, da, da. No, man. <laughs> the Lord about to, hey, listen to what the Lord is, Yahweh is about to do. Verse 17. Therefore, the Lord Yahweh is was smite with the scab of the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord Yahweh is will discover their secret parts, man. A lot of you women are bald already as it is. <laughs> Wearing these damn wigs and these weaves and all that shit. Okay? Alright. Verse 18. In that day of the glory of Shai will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and, the, and their calls and their round tires around the moon. The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers and the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs. And the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and the nose jewelry. All right. The changeable suits of apparel. You women ain't going to have no clean clothes to wear, man. And like I say, once the lights go out, the water is going to go out too. The water ain't going to be no running water either. You women ain't going to be smelling good in that day. It's going to be all stinky. Walking around smelling like a human sushi bar. All right. And the uh, mantles and the wimp wimples and the crisp and the crisping pins, the glasses, the and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils, 
Verse 24, and it shall come to pass that instead of a sweet smell, there shall be a, there shall be stink. Yeah, just like I said, man. <laughs> All right. Verse, uh, yeah. Uh, and instead of a gird, girdle, a uh, rent. Instead of well set hair, baldness. You see? A lot of you Israelite women, especially you Judite women, which affects this the most, all right? It affects this the most than any, any other tribe, all right? You Judite women, the most this affects because <clears throat> you wear these wigs, covering up your baldness, trying to be like the so-called white, trying to be like your oppressor, man. The Bible says not to envy the oppressor and choose not his ways, all right? Even in these so-called trying to be like your oppressor, trying to be like the so-called white woman. Man, please. Wearing all these blonde wigs, these color hair, color hair, all that all that shit is about to come to an end. Okay? And instead of a stomacher of girdle, girding of sackcloth, and a burning in instead of beauty. Alright? You women gonna be looking, like I said, you women gonna be looking a hot mess through don't be looking through out here man all right no makeup ain't gonna see your truth don't see hey you gonna see the true nature of you all right with all this makeup you women like to wear man all this damn makeup y'all wear putting all that clown makeup on looking like a damn human walking clown <laughs> shit hell you women ain't gonna have that man you women gonna be looking through in that day man all right let's get this <clears throat> this is Proverbs 1 and verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners of the and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Two thirds of your Israelites hate knowledge, man. Alright? You two thirds of like men and women. Turn you at my reproof. <clears throat> Excuse me. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. And that's what the Lord Yahweh is doing. He's doing that by the men of the Lord. Alright? Verse 24, because I have called and ye refused, I stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said at not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. Verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. All right. And he's going to use the men of the Lord to laugh at two thirds of years of like women, man, when that fear coming. All right. He's going to use the men of the Lord to laugh at you uh, years of like women. Hey, we're going to be mocking you. And we're going to mock your ass. We're going to be like, oh, I thought you were so tough. I thought you were so brave. I thought you were so independent. <laughs> oh, what, what, what happened? I thought feminism. What, what happened to that? <laughs> hey, feminism is finished, man. Okay? All right? Verse 27. When your fear comes as a desolation and your destruction comes as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, Verse 28, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. A lot of years like women going to be calling on sweet white man Jesus. Jesus, 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 help me. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. It's lucky in my voice trying, trying to do that. Let me get some drink of water right quick. <coughs> going to be here saying, help me, Jesus, help. <laughs> and Lord ain't gonna answer you And that's not the name of the Lord anyway Alright <laughs> That is not the name of the Lord The name of the Lord, the Heavenly Father is Yahweh And the name of His Son the Lord Say is Yahweh Shai Okay <clears throat> Verse 29 For that they hated knowledge And did not choose to fear the Lord A lot of Israelites Two thirds of Israelites don't fear the Lord man Okay <clears throat> Verse 30, they would none of my counsels, they despised all my reproofs. Correction, man, okay? Verse 31, therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way, <coughs> excuse me, and be filled with their own devices. Verse 32, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of the fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil, man. All right? And that's only talking about the elected, the elect women, man. Because, hey, the elect women, they're going to be protected in that day, man. The few sincere sisters, they're going to be protected. All right? 
They're going to have a man, the Lord, to protect them in that day. All right? So, hey. The two majority of you women, yep, it's over for you. Okay? This is Micah 7 and verse 9. The point is in verse 10, but I'm going to start at verse 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashin, Yahweh, Shai. And that's what we're doing, man. Us men, we're bearing the indignation. Why? Because I sin against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. All right? We ones that went off. All right? We went off as a nation. All right? So we're going to, hey, we bear the indignation of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashin, Yahweh, Shai. But our punishment is just about up, man. He's about to plead our cause, and hey, he's about to execute judgment for us, man. Okay? For his, his apostles and his prophets and his teachers, man. Okay? It tells you that in Revelation 18, verse 20. All right? All right? He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Verse 10. Then she that is my enemy, and two-thirds of our women are enemies, especially the Judite women, man. All women are enemies to the Lord Yahweh Shin Shai. Not yeah, to the Lord Yahweh Shin Shai and his men. Okay? Alright. Verse 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her with say unto me, Where is the Lord Yahweh thy power? Where's your sky daddy at? Where your sky daddy coming? Alright? You believe in a sky daddy? That's what you isn't like women say, man. Y'all say this. You believe in a sky daddy gonna come down and save you? Okay, about to see. Okay, yeah, and yeah, we believe in a sky daddy. At least we hey, at least we got a sky daddy. Y'all about shim y'all shot. What do you got? <laughs> what do you What do you got? Nothing. My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. A lot of you women gonna be trampled down like the mire of the streets, man. Okay, so hey. This is, hey, this is important for who is, for who this lesson is for, man. You better take heed, all right? Take heed and get right before it's too late, man, all right? Because let's get this last, let me get one more. Second Corinthians, I think it's 15 and verse, yep, right here. Second, it's not good. Second Chronicles, I'm sorry about that. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, the power of Israel, shall be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. How you get around that, man? All right, so I'm going to end the lesson here. I'm gonna pray, I pray this lesson was edifying, all right? All praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, Bashim, Rekakadash, Double honors to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone who rule well, and as always, give peace, blessings, and side taste to the elect that scattered abroad. See you with another lesson soon. Little one, Kwam Yasharan, Shan Wam, Wa, Ba, 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 About a Wam, D, T, A, About Ba, Ba, Boom! As my brother Gabar Dama say, man. All right? Till next time, I say Shan Wam. Let's go! As my brother I'm a bad say, man. Let's go! Let's go, let's go. Show on.